Welcome to All ID TV and today we have Mr. Liam Lawson's Toyota Supra behind us because it's been back and forth here for a number of months having a few bits done and it is now finally done and we have him here with us. Liam, my man, thanks for coming down. Thanks for having me, Ryan. Finally got you on the channel, nice which has be, been yeah. a long time coming. Now, mate, obviously I know who you are. We all know sort of what you do. For the guys that sort of follow us and maybe don't know who Liam is, do you mind giving us a bit of an intro on you, what you do and what you've been up to for the last three, six months? Absolutely. Um, so this year uh, I raced full time in a championship called Super Formula in Japan. Um, it's like a below Formula One sort of championship or in between Formula Two and Formula One. Um, and at the same time, reserve driver for Red Bull Racing and Alfa Tori. And I did five races this year in Formula One. You so did, I did my yeah. first my first five Grand Prix. Um, back to reserve now. Obviously, the season's just finished uh, last week in Abu Dhabi. So now I'm uh, now I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. So you've just started your new job, basically, which is this. <laughs> I, I haven't even uploaded a video yet. Um, <laughs> but uh, today's good. the day. So yeah, yeah. no, nah, mate. It's um, no, it's good to finally have you here. This has been a long time coming, yeah, hasn't it? Six we've, months, I think. Yeah, yeah, we've been working on this car for quite a while now, and he's done the typical YouTuber thing. You bought a car and wrapped it. So we're going to sell it next week. Uh, yeah, I mean, th th to be fair, this one's definitely a bit more of a project, more more long term. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I also can change my mind in five minutes as well. So. So for those of you that don't know, like most F1 drivers, to be honest with you, they understand, I call you an F1 driver, you are an F1 driver in my head. No. I think everyone else is going to assume it as well. Most of them like cars, they get cars, they understand cars, but they're not like petrol heads. Liam is a proper petrol head. He loves cars. And so that is why this happened, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really know many drivers. Um, I probably know a very small handful that I know that like actually modify cars and do stuff, but yeah. most definitely most of them don't. Yeah, I think it's because they're just desensitized, maybe to like. I think just when you drive race cars, it's completely different. It's like a whole other passion. If you have, if you're into cars on the road, it's a whole different passion from being into driving race cars. It's like yeah. two completely different things. Just a bit about your F1 career, then, Liam. Obviously, it's been a short but sweet one so far. Zample was where we. Yeah, Zample was it. was the first one, but we kind of did half the weekends. Um, obviously, we did the Grand Prix, but I missed the first couple of practice sessions, so. First full weekend was was Monza, and actually you were there. My Mate, first proper very, weekend. very, very kindly. So me and Liam actually, we only really started chatting last. This is this, this year. We're this selling year. this year. Yeah. December, I'm like six months so, ago. Six months ago. Yeah. yeah. Liam actually reached out. Well, actually, to you, Nathan, wasn't it? It was. Yep. Uh, it dropped Nathan message being I like, I saw Mate, a Supra, and I was like, because I bought this bone stock, um, had nothing done to it, so um, with a big project in mind. Yeah. And I went and tried to find whoever you know who I could find that had the best looking Supra, and it was Nathan. So there you go. Yeah, boy. And he, <laughs> <laughs> he dropped he dropped you a message, and Nathan was like, "There's this guy who's just in, what dropped me a message on Instagram. He's a uh, da da reserve driver." And I was like, I know exactly who that is. I literally heard it on the podcast the other day. Yeah, mate, we got to go to Monza, which was fucking amazing. So really, really, really good fun. Right, we should probably stop catching up now, mate. We should maybe talk a little bit about this car. Do you want to walk us a little bit through the vision? For yeah, work? I think the main idea was to be different. Um, obviously, uh, especially in the States, these cars, there's a lot of these modified. Um, and I wanted to be a little bit different. I wanted to keep it, obviously, the new Supra is underneath her BMW. Yeah. which i like it's the reason i bought it but the, the the look of it i didn't want to take it away from that sort of jdm style yep so that's why we've gone with um the rear wing like that like a jdm looking wing um same with the rear even like the exhaust which we'll look at i'm sure but yeah. um not having like a real sport sports car looking exhaust like just straight yeah. basically yeah. Cans, cans out the back yeah the exactly back. Yeah, yeah um so i think that was the the vision and the color was just something that uh i saw a car in the states that had one that looked really really good um and it was really different i haven't seen any of these in this color no i'm not in this color um, this is the first super i've seen in this color so i mean to be honest that's that was the vision at least i mean it's sort of come together so the way we've sort of made that materialize is by so many different small touches but then also some of the really obvious things so a couple of small touches up front whilst we're there we obviously just got the black badges that just kind of get rid of the chrome the only bit of like chrome slash silver you've got are the wheels now which we can talk about as well and we've the exhaust done, yeah and the exhaust sorry yeah. yeah they've done the drls yellow as well that's a bit of a mo motorsport feel they're quite popular now the yellow drls but they really seem to suit this color yeah up front this is actually a korean part from a company called adro you wasn't too sure at the start what way you wanted to go did you but once you see it yeah, for sure. I think I didn't, one thing I didn't want to do is a full kit of the same thing, because then it's sort of, it's, which is more common, I guess. The whole idea is to be a bit unique. So I've got 
a different, I mean, different branded front splitter to side skirts to rear wing. Yeah, yeah. Mate, so the business, business end of the car. For sure. Isn't, this is isn't the it? It looks mad. Yeah. So this is the Street Hunter V2 wing. Yep. So a couple of different changes. You've got the sort of, it sweeps up now in the center. The lip at the top, yeah. The M end pods are a little bit different as well. Really suits the car, doesn't it? It looks like it should have come like that from factory. Oh, 100%. When, when, I, when I, we, put the, we put the wing on, looking at photos, because I've still got obviously photos before it had it on, because it's one of the most recent things we did. And like, I don't even like looking at the old photos. It kind of looks <laughs> naked without it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah like we, we often like, you'll find customers will come in, they'll buy the spoiler, and they'll be like, oh, it looks so much better. And then they'll get a wing on, they'll like, how the, did I drive that yeah, car? Yeah, what was I doing? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then side skirts you mentioned, where were these from? Are these from? Uh, these are a company in the US called Souvenir. Um, so I didn't want like crazy looking side skirts because most of them come and they have the like winglets. the winglets exactly. And I, I kind of wanted something that was just straight followed through all the way back that I could also sort of adjust. So it's a very basic side skirt and rear corner spat as well. They're both very, very basic. Maybe we could do something more aggressive, but at least the first look of it, I just wanted something yeah, clean it's, cut. It's, it's a good first step. And I think, like you say, it just adds on to the stock. There's a funny story, actually. Liam made his girlfriend yeah. uh, bring those side skirts over on a ski, in a ski bag, didn't you? I did, yeah. Did you I pay did. for the Did you pay for the I bag? I paid for the baggage, oh, right, yeah. Fair enough. yeah. Unfortunately, when the deal kind of was that, she, you know, she could go home as much as she wanted if each time she came back, she brought something, some car parts with her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we've had the size. Oh, and the wing as well. And the, one, this whole wing came back with, with my girlfriend, with Hannah, yeah. It came yeah. back in, the, in a ski bag, so. That's, yeah. I wouldn't have got away with that personally. My missus wouldn't have had it. So fair play to you, Hannah. Um, so at the back, we've got the exhaust tips she was chatting about. These are literally just a straight, and this sounds lovely as well. It's a custom exhaust system. It's completely custom, yeah. And it's originally when I did it, I was it's valved. Um, so when the valves are closed, it's pretty much stock. Um, originally when they were open, it was straight pipes and it was way too loud. Yeah. Um, like you remember what it was like. Also with the, with the bass tune we had on it, it was just like spitting flames and when, it was a bit When Liam much. turned up before, he was like, yeah, this is this is so good, I, I, I love it. And then before the end of the thing, he was like, but I'm just, is it just a little bit too loud? It was so it's loud stuck. that there was like a frequency at like four grand where it would like ring through the cabin of the car. It was so loud. So <laughs> it's got a mid pipe in it now um, and it's still loud, but it's it's got a much, sort of neater tone yeah, to it. Yeah, it sounds really nice now. So it makes me miss my B58 in the um, in the N240i. Whilst around the back of the car, we're gonna take a little look at the wheels as well, because they are a very unique set of wheels by the guys at West Forge. What was the inspiration, mate? Um, they were from, I just like the look of them. They were from, uh, they were based off a wheel that um, I saw on, on a Super in the States. Uh, they were blacked out, so I wanted to do um, a brushed silver face. Uh, and it's sort of based off like a BBS um, race sort of silver. race style wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's very aggressive. No, they're really nice. They're totally custom and we've got some nice little touches on there. You've actually got your race number, haven't you? On right, there? and the, yeah, just engraved third. at the bottom. Just um, to, you can't yeah. see it unless you know it's there, but I like knowing it's there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Nice little touch. And so if you ever sell them, someone's going to be like, why the... <laughs> why is the number 30 in there? Yeah. <laughs> right, Liam, just say, we've just bought the car down... Because you're a YouTuber now. Yeah. Yeah, I can say that, but you yeah. just want me to say, so we've just bought the car downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're you're the host of the show now. Okay. <laughs> Jack, just say <laughs> Just bought the car downstairs because obviously the lighting left us in England at about four o'clock, it just gets pitch black dark. So under these lights, you can see a bit more of the color to be fair. And so you were just explaining to me like where this sort of color come from. What, what was the inspiration? It was based off um, the TJ Hunt, Hurricane from uh, the one in America, the one that Winston Diesel bought, um, the Sheepy Race one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has he still that. got that? No, nah, well, he wrapped it again. So now it's like a sand looking. Because that, that was 10 out of 10 before. Yeah. And that's why as well, like the wheels I like, but I'm definitely going to do a stage two on the wheels and do another step because I think with this color, also with the, the DRLs now as well, Yeah. I want like a gold kind of face wheel oh, okay um, all right yeah yeah, yeah. So. something a bit different so you haven't just done the looks you've actually matched it up with some performance mods as well what have you done so far 
I mean, it's super easy with the B58. Um, so obviously with the exhaust, it's running catalyst downpipe and then an intake and then a stage two with the MHD. The so. intake made a big difference to the noise, didn't it? Yeah, intake. I was excited about the exhaust, but the intake made a it's massive first, difference. This is my first day driving with it now. Um, and yeah, the intake sounds, it's like always there. It's really, yeah. really cool. <laughs> da, da, da. It's the Ram Air intake. Ram Air Available intake. on our store. The intake is the Ram Air intake, which is basically like an open design. So you can just hear it a lot. I think it was one thing that was missing. You have like a nice note from the exhaust, but like no turbo noise, no. Yeah, because from factory, we was talking about this when we did the Ram Air video, is that they've got this like giant like muffler on them that like just absorbs all the sound. I don't understand why they do it. Yeah, no suction noise at I all. I mean, you've tuned it as well then. So is it stage two? Stage two with MHD to the wheels, like 450, I think. So yeah, no, it's, it's and obviously rear wheel drive. Um, Short wheelbase. Yeah, the, and like the seating position, like sitting on the rear wheels. It's on semi slicks as well, which to be honest, I kind of regret in the UK. <laughs> Liam was now. like, I really want to be able to like drift it when it's raining like really easily. I'm going to get some semi-slicks. I was like, that's a bad idea, mate. He's like, no, nah, I'm going to do it anyway. All it's done is basically meant that anytime there's any standing water, the car is absolutely lethal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it's no real different drifting. It's, no, it's, it's, exactly, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Especially now you put more power for it as well. Yeah, exactly. Now it lights up really easily. Yeah, no, Liam showed me his, his skills the other day. But it's an amazing, amazing little car now. It's all sort of come together. It's one thing that I've learned is that even if you have an idea in mind, you can never stop. Like it's always going to keep having stuff done. Because um, this is this is the first car you've modified basically, isn't it? It's the first car I've owned. It's my first actual, my first actual car. Over the years I've always had sort of loaner cars. I've been really fortunate that I've been lent cars um, because I've never been in one place. So yeah, this is technically my first my first car. I had it, That's, what a first car. Right, I could stand here all day chatting to Liam um, about cars and stuff. But, but we do I'll that mean, anyway, so. We do do that anyway, yeah. yeah, it just doesn't stop leaving me alone, sorry. Uh, anyway, we're gonna wrap up the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Liam, thank you so much for trusting us with your first car. Um, Thanks it's been for an honor, mate. And I'm sure that we'll have you back <laughs> oh for sure too. yeah yeah so, in the near um, future please don't forget if you did enjoy this content please subscribe to our channel drop a comment below on your thoughts on liam's car and if you have any feedback on this video at all we'd love to hear it and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video